In this tutorial on Vista software, I will show you how to create two dimensional ring Selenium structure from unit cell to the 2D material. So let's open the Vista software, then go to the file, click on open. And in this download folder, I have the CI file for the Selenium. I have downloaded CI file from the COD website. If you are new to my channel, then do check out my previous video in which I have shown how to download CI file from the COD website and also how to get the Vista software. So now let's collect. Uh, now let's select the CI file. Open. So here you will see a unit cell of Selenium. Uh, I want to do one thing. Like I want to change this color from yellow to red. Okay, so we got a beautiful unit cell of Selenium. Then go and click on the edit. Over here you will find option for the bonds. So shortcut key is Command B for the Mac user and Control B for the Windows user. Click over here. In the beginning there is no any bond over here. Okay, so click on the new and it will help you to create a bond. So search atom holding to A1 because it's just a Selenium, right? So and then you can have such additional atom if A1 is included in the boundary. And over here you can change this from 1.6 to 3 and click apply. Okay. So this way it will help you to create the bond between different Selenium atom inside and outside of unit cell. Now what we need to do is go to the style and then click on the boundary. And over here you will find the option for boundary that's a Cartesian coordinate minima and maxima so let's select this number minus 3 to plus 3 do the same for y and for the z minus 3 to plus 3 and apply so now it will help you to create the 2d structure for Selenium. this is a view along the a axis if you click on the view along the b axis it will look like this one view along c axis look like this one and the good thing over here, if you select view along A axis and move slightly, then you can see the overlapping atoms over each other. Okay, this looks beautiful. Similarly, if you click on the B and move slightly, then you can see the overlapping atom. If you click on the Z, C axis, then you can see like this one. There is another way to view is you can go and click on the view and instead of parallel, choose the perspective view. Okay, so in this case, this look totally different than how it was looking before right in the perspective way if you click on the b it looks very pretty now if you want to remove this edge go to the properties and over here in the general tab you will find the unit cell so click on do not show the line so unit cell will disappear then go to the atom over here you can change the radius of atom so i want to select radius say one keep the red color on the bottom side you can see option for radii type if you click over here it's atomic ionic or van der Waal. so depending on your requirement you can choose the type of radii you want to show then over here you will find the material it's a specular okay so click on this box and i would prefer a white color and the shininess around shininess like maximum shininess that's 100 percent then go to the bond in the bond you will find different styles so if you select unicolor then is a unicolor bicolor cylindrical color line gradient line then dotted line and dashed line so depending on the way you want to show it you can use any any one of them so i prefer to use a color line and you can change the color of line through this window so this is how it can now last step is go to the file and you can save this as a save and you can give the ring so it's a 2d ring helenium okay second thing you can do is go to the file and export raster image so the zip uh, this vista software gives different file format starting from jpg eps and the png ppmm so let's select the jpg and click on save here you get an option for the scale in multiplication so you can choose any number if you choose a high number the image size will be higher and the resolution will be good so click ok so jpg is created second again go to the file and export uh, sorry not the data file export raster image 
and this time instead of jpg i want to use png because it allow me to create a image with a transparent background okay i will keep the same scale but let the background transparent check this box and click okay so file has been created now go to the download folder over here i have saved this file so this is a png so the background is there is no background actually in this case is a transparent and in this case we have white background so i hope through this video you learn uh, how to create 2d ring structure of telenium don't forget to hit the like button and also please share and subscribe and press the bell icon button to be updated with my new videos